Good morning, South Anchorage High School Class of 2021 graduates. I am beyond grateful and glad that despite everything that has happened in the last 400 days of our bizarre lives, we are, against all odds, able to come and be together on this day. Before I begin my speech, I would be wrong not to mention the massive loss our community has faced recently, and that is of the tragic passing of one of our own staff members, Mr. Isert. I personally never had him as a teacher, but you would be hard pressed to find anyone in the school who didn't have a story or an inside joke they shared because of Mr. Isert. We all deeply miss you and are heartbroken you can't be with us here today. As a kid growing up, my family always had an artist we would listen to named Watsky. He was a rapper, but he always felt like more of a poet than a rapper because of his incredibly skilled and poetic lyrics. One of his lyrics that has stood out to me the most recently is from his song, Tiny Glowing Screens Part Two. It goes, quote, there are seven billion, 46 million people in the world, and I have the audacity to think I matter. Admittedly, this quote seems pretty dark on its surface. As cliche as it sounds, we are living on a massive rock floating in space, and we have the audacity to get frustrated when a traffic light doesn't turn green after 15 seconds. It is really easy to feel as if you are small in the world. Even if these feelings are present in your life, there is a distinct feeling between feeling small and feeling insignificant. Every single person in this graduating class has a reason to feel significant. The range of skills, abilities, and passions throughout this entire class is wholly unique and can be applied to on an individual level in order to be significant. In this class alone, we have won multiple state championships and countless individual awards that range from physical and mental competitions. There is another unique characteristic to this class that sets us apart from others in the state, that also sets us apart from others on a national level. Every single one of us is a fighter, and no matter what the fight is, we go until we can't anymore. In this past year alone, we've been forced to redefine our very existence with COVID-19, continue to excel academically and personally, as well as find time for every other event that makes life significant out of waking up, eating three meals, and going back to bed. All of us have been knocked down, and every single time, all of us have gotten up one more time than we've fallen. The beauty of life and of this eternal fight is that every fighter has a different opponent every single day that we defeat without fail. For some of us, working at a nine to five to provide for our families will be our fight. And for others, the biggest fight of the day will be getting out of bed. Fortunately for us, these fights are all valid in themselves and don't reduce any of our struggles because our fights aren't the same. The hardest part, of course, is what to do next. Once again, the beauty of life is that none of us will have the same plan as another, and we must all use our unique skills present among us to apply it to the obstacles we will face in the future. Unfortunately, high school is not the beginning of the end, rather, the end of the beginning. We have not reached the summit of the mountain, but we did just complete one of the steeper parts. From now on, we are, as far as the law is concerned, adults, but the process of growing up isn't done yet. Some of us have finished our academic careers, and some of us won't be out for another eight years. For some of us, we may never leave the school and simply become the teachers we see surrounding us. Regardless of everybody's individual path, we all must understand that we are significant individuals. No matter how hard life gets, we all have a reason to be here and win another fight. If there's anything to take away from my speech today, it is that we must wake up every day with the audacity to think that we matter, because it is the only way we will get up from the fight. I am personally proud of every single member of this graduating class, and to finish a statement I have said once, and I will say 10,000 times more, debate is a real sport. Thank you.